Good morning and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, the pain of regret or the pain of discipline. The pain of regret or the pain of discipline. You choose. Let me make a flat out statement of truth. If we don't learn to create more, a more disciplined life, then you're going to have regrets. Let me repeat that. If you and me do not create a more disciplined life, then we will have regrets. That's why all the greats have said it. Either the pain of discipline or the pain of regret you choose. The other day, <clears throat> I was with some very good friends of mine. Tom Williams and David Zoffin. I had lunch with them and we were going to their agency and going to meet with all of their fantastic people. What a great time I had. At lunch, Tom and I were talking about the people who've left our company and how most of them, when they leave, have regrets about leaving. And then Tom told me a story that really drove this message home. When Tom started with the company some 15 years ago, Joe, I'll just put his first name there, and him had started at the same time in training class. And they had the same hopes, same dreams. The only problem was that Joe left the company when things got tough. Tom described this guy as someone who was always cutting corners, was lazy, and complained about a lot of things. Well, 15 years later, as fate would have it, they bumped into each other. And what do you think Joe began to tell Tom <laughs> about all of his problems? In addition, Joe then decides to ask Tom how he was doing and if he was still with the company. Well, when Tom told him that not only was he still with the company, but we, he was living a dream life. And then he started telling him about all the things that he'd accomplished. This guy looked at him and he said, boy, you know, Tom, I think often about how I left and how much regret I have in leaving that company. I don't want that to happen to you or to me. It's never too late to chase down those dreams, but it's going to take discipline. You're going to have to discipline yourself to do the things that you might not want to do and don't complain while you're doing them. Folks, I can promise you this. My life has been all about that, disciplining myself, doing the things that I don't want to do. And as a result, I'm very at peace with the fact that I don't believe I will have any regrets. Will I look back and say, wow, would have been nice to do this or that? Maybe a little bit here and there, but for the most part, no regrets. When we talk about the pain of discipline versus the pain of regret, let me give you a few key areas that you need to have discipline on. Number one, your attitude. Your attitude is a choice and you choose that attitude at the beginning of each day. So grow the habit of having a positive can do optimistic attitude filled with hope every day. Number two, your work habits. When you come to work, you know that if you're giving your very best and you know if you're schlepping off and making excuses. Number three, the habit of not giving up too soon. Too many people give up right before victory is theirs, right before they're about to have that success. Too often this happens. The pain of discipline, pain of regret. You choose. I want you to choose wisely. And when you choose wisely, you're going to choose the pain of discipline instead of laziness. And then guess what you'll be doing? You got it. Living your very best life. Thanks for joining me today, gang, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?